हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रोफेसर ए सी जाधव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर अंडर द कोर्स प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट प्लांटिंग सिस्टम ऑफ फ्रूट क्रॉप्स द सिस्टम इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी द इजीएस्ट वन एंड द सिंपल सिस्टम अमंग द अदर्स The square system of the planting is the simplest and the most convenient for the layout. In this system, row to row distance and plant to plant distance is kept similar. Trees are planted exactly at right angle to each other. Thus, every four plants make one square. This system of the planting is usually adopted for all over India. Through these systems, we may grow mango, jammu, and the sabrata. few of the advantages of these systems are irrigation channel and the path can be made straight possibility of the cultural operations in two direction is a greatest advantage better watching of the orchard is a possible one of the limitation for this system is the major disadvantages like lots of space in a center of the each square is a waste second important planting system is a rectangle system in a rectangle system the trees are planted in a straight rows running at right angle on the side of the field in a rectangle system the distance from plant to plant and row to row is not same and that's why there is a formation of the rectangle in between the four plant few advantages or the merit of this system are irrigation channel can be made length and width wise good light penetrations can be possible because wider space is available in between the rows better supervision is again possible and it is most easier one also because the wider space is available in between the rows few of the demerits for this systems like intercultural operations is somewhat difficult especially when the trees have fully grown large area of the orchard between the rows is waste if we doesn't follow any type of the intercropping practice in a orchard we may cultivate the grape or the pomegranate like crops by adopting the rectangle system third important system is the quincun system which is again known as a diagonal system in this system the exact layout is as per the square system with the additional of the trees in a center of each square and in this way the plant population or the number of plant is almost double but the distance between the trees in a center and at the corner of much reduce for the same reason the central plant usually not permanent and that's why it is considered as a filler plant filler trees serve as a source of additional income till the main tree come into the bearing these plants are usually short lived and early bearing it should be removed if it suppress the growth of main plant in any way there are again the different merits and the demerits for this system merits are the advantages like the plant population is about double than the square system additional income can be earned from the filler tree till the main crop come into the bearing this is the main advantage by this system maximum utilization of the land is possible when the land is considered to be costly or considered as a limiting factor few of the disadvantages like it is difficult to carry out the intercultural operation on account of the filler tree the skill is required to lay out the orchard filler tree can be interfere with the growth of main trees when we cannot cut the tree after the complete growth of the main plant also there are the few example like if we can place the main crop or plant the main crop like a mango or a sapota as a filler crop we may use guava falsa plum papaya etc fourth important system is the hexagonal system which is again considered as a equilateral system sometimes 
the seven tree is planted in the center of hexagon and that's why it is again called as a septal plate system in this system the trees are planted in each corner of equilateral triangle this system differ from the square system in which the distance between the row is less than the distance between the tree in a row but the distance from the tree to tree in a six direction remains same the system is usually employed where the land is expensive and is a very fertile with a good availability of the water the main advantages of this system that there is a accommodation of near about 15% more plant than the square system then few of the advantages and the disadvantages of this system like this system permit the cultivations in a three direction second the plant occupy the land fully without any waste as in a square system this system allow the 15% more plants than the square system few of the limitations or the disadvantages of this systems the system is not generally followed because it is difficult to adopt in a practice in a field intercultivation in such a garden is difficult due to the presence of the central tree skill is required for layout of this system fifth one is a triangular system triangular system is based on the principle of the isolateral triangle in this system the trees are planted as in a square system but the difference is that those in a even numbered rows are midway between those in a odd number instead of opposite to them the distance between any two adjacent tree in a rows is equal to the perpendicular distance between any two adjacent row the system is considered to be more complicated and more difficult to lay out few of the demerit of this system because it is considered to be uncommon type of the system this system is not much of the practical importance the plants are not placed at the equal distance from all directions because the rows which we can place in orchard it is again depend upon its number like odd and the even it accommodate only a few number of more trees as compared with the square system and thus that's why it is not that much popular systems the above five systems you can adopt when the land is a uh, leveled but in case of the undulating type of the topography where there is a greater danger of erosion and the irrigation is considered to be a difficult practice then we have option of only a one system that is the contour system or the terrace planting system the main purpose of this system is to minimize the land erosion and conserve the soil moisture so as to make the slope fit for growing the fruit and plantation crop contour line is so designed and graded in such a way that the flow of water in the irrigation channel become a slow and thus find a time to penetrate into the soil without causing erosion terrace system on the other hand refer to the planting in a flat strip of the land form across the sloping side of the hill particularly when the slope is more than 10% line level along the contour there are few of the main advantages of this system like this system is suitable or adopted in a hilly area like a kokan and the others it helps simultaneously in a conservation of the water and control of the soil erosion by adopting this systems all types of these benefit definitely we can obtain few of the limitation and the demerits of this system like laying out of the contour line is a difficult and time consuming task the trees may not be set at the equal distance because as per the suitable place we can place the plants so there may be the possibility of the difference in row to row or the distance in between the plants number of plants per unit area will be generally less than the other systems because only the suitable site we can utilize for the planting and definitely the special skill we have a need to place or follow the layout of this system this is about the different types of the planting systems which we can used for the 
fruit crop cultivation.